a lot of times we wonder. We re were reading the books uh, of the Bible, and we were so blessed by them, but they were written to a people for a purpose. Welcome back to the Bible Study Discussion Podcast. My name is Joel. And I am Brian. Welcome back. We are jumping into chapter four of Colossians. But first, can I have you open us in prayer? Okay. Lord Jesus, I thank you for, for your word. I thank you for the truth in your word. And uh, I thank you for revelation. Now, Lord, I pray that, that you just show us uh, and reveal yourself in your word to us uh, today. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, we are jumping in to chapter four, verse one. Masters, grant your slaves justice and fairness, knowing that you too have a master in heaven. Devote yourself to prayer, keeping alert with an attitude of thanksgiving, praying at the, at the same time for us as well that God will open up to us a door for the word so that we may speak forth the mystery of Christ for which I have been imprisoned, that I may make it clear in the way I ought to speak. Conduct yourselves with wisdom towards outsiders, making the most of the opportunity. Let your speech always be with grace as though seasoned with salt so that you will know how you should respond to each person. I, what I like about this passage is, is it, it just shows his heart. Yeah. He, he just wants so much for, for the word of God to go out. And uh, that just comes through in, in this, this passage so much. Yeah. I, yes, I totally, mm -hmm. yeah, I agree with that. I really like verse two. Devote mm -hmm. yourselves to prayer, mm -hmm. keeping alert in it with an attitude of thanksgiving. In my study Bible here, it says um, this first to devote yourselves. Um, this word for devote means to be courageously persistent or to hold fast and not let, and not let go and refers here to prayer, persistent prayer. Mm -hmm. And I really think that's interesting how he's like hanging on and don't let go to prayer because how do we get to know each other in fellowship? You know, he's talking about in verse three, you know, humility, gentleness, kindness. And then, of course, he goes into um, wives, be subject to your husbands and husbands love your father your wives and, you know, love your children and respect them and all this stuff. And, you know, in that, creating that community and that love and that respect for everyone, you have to have communication. Yeah. And I feel like this verse too is a really cool way of saying, stay in communication with Christ, pray, talk to him and he will talk to you and be in his word to know his to know him that that is so cool because it that that really ties into what i was thinking about in verse five um because you're talking about this this relation be so connected with with god and, and in verse five it says walk in wisdom uh towards uh those who are outside redeeming the time and hmm. it, it it talks about my relationship with others. Oh. So you got the 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 vertical hor and then the horizontal relationship. And I mean, people get so, and myself included, we get so um, kind of anxious when when we stop to start talking about evangelism because you start looking at yeah. Um, <sighs> big uh, filling stadiums and having people come to the Lord. And it's like, how many Billy Grahams are there really? And I mean, there's people <laughs> that are gifted that way, but it, it's like, I am no Billy Graham. Yeah. And, and then, then you look at, at uh, others that, that, that they feel like that's their, their calling and their, their gifting. And, and they, they yeah. um, are always out there sharing the Lord. And it's like, Absolutely. that's just, that's hard. That's that really hard, but I can do this. I can walk in wisdom 
uh, to with those around uh, who are outside. I can talk with somebody yeah. and just have, carry on a, a conversation and be that salt and light in the workplace. And that is evangelism. Yeah. And it just and the the redeeming the time. Um, there's two different words that the that the Greek use for, for time. One is uh, kairos and one is uh, chronos. Kairos is what this word is, and it's it's the quality time. Oh. It's using take take advantage of the time that you t- that you have, um, and and uh, it's it's use good timing. Yeah, the yeah. Chronos is just chronological. That's where we get our chron. It, it, it's just one. It's, it's a quantity of time, where the other is the quality of time. And hmm. they're saying use quality time with one another. Yeah, I like also you know. Tying exactly off what you said, verse six, Mm -hmm. let your speech always be with grace as though seasoned with salt so that you will know how you should respond to each person. You know, that's saying, hey, every person on the planet is different. You can't do the same conversation to every single person like you're not a robot. Right, right. We're not called to be robots, but, <laughs> but um, it can be the same message, just I in mean, a different the way. message of grace, the message of God, the, the message of repentance and and who God is. But it, it, in each situation, it's going to come out in a different way. Yeah. And, you, and, and God uses our personalities. Um, I, you are going to present the gospel different than I am. And yeah. Paul had a, a style of presenting the gospel and th- that was different than John. Mm-hmm. So I, it's okay. I, God created each of us special and unique. I, I know when I was a young Christian, it's like I wanted to be able to to like say glory like a, a, a Texan. It's like this goes from <laughs> glory. And it's like I, I, I just can't do it. But it's like I, I thought it's like if I could like speak with that kind of tone, but I, I don't speak that way. And, I, and God doesn't want me to speak that way. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> 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 All right. Glory. <laughs> All right. I'll start at, at uh, verse 7. Tychus will tell you uh, all about my activities. He is a beloved brother and faithful minister and fellow servant uh, in the Lord. Uh, I have sent him uh, to you for this very pur- purpose, that you may know how we are and that he may encourage your hearts. And uh, with him, Onesimus, our faithful and beloved brother, who is one of you, uh, they will tell you uh, of everything that has taken place here. Articus, my fellow prisoner, uh, uh, greets you and Mark, the, the cousin of Barnabas, con, uh, concerning whom you have received instructions. If he comes to you, welcome him. And Jesus, who is called Justice, uh, these are the only men of the circumcision uh, among my fellow workers for the kingdom of God. And they have been uh, a comfort to me. Epaphras, who is one of you, a servant of uh, Christ Jesus, greets you always, uh, struggling on your behalf in his prayers that you might stand mature and fully assured uh, in all uh, the, the will of God. Uh, for I bear him witness that he has uh, worked hard for you and for those in Laodicea and in Hippaphras. Uh, Luke, the beloved ph- physician, greets you, as does Demas. Uh, give my greetings to the belo- to the brothers at Laodicea and Nymph and the the church churches in his house or in her in her house. I really like this section here because, you know, in all of the chapters coming up to this, he is 
instructing and encouraging and, Mm -hmm. you know, preaching through his letters. And in this section here, he is really showing like, hey, he's he's doing the personal thing. This is a letter. Like, of course, the people who are reading this letter Mm -hmm. are concerned and worried about Paul. Not only are they, you know, encouraged by hearing the word, but they also want to hear him and the people that are around him. And so it is so cool to see him, you know, putting this in the letter to also say, hey, not only be encouraged in Christ and remember, you know, lay aside these things or be encouraged or set your mind on Christ and all these things that we've been talking about. Mm -hmm. But he's also saying, here, let me put your mind at rest. You know, keep your mind fixed on things above. Don't worry about me. Hey, and this is how I will help. This is how I will not be a stumbling block block to you. Here's here is my situation. Here are, you know, Tychus and Articus mm-hmm. and Mark and mm-hmm. Justice and everyone in Laodicea and all around, you know. They're, we're doing fine. We're doing well. Right. You know, you don't have to worry. Right, right. You know, there's different relationship dynamics. And a lot of times, and, and especially in, in this situation, it could be very easy for Paul to take this, this high stance and say, here I, Paul, who hear from God, am teaching you, who I've never met. But but he says, I'm sending Tychus who give, to give you news about how I'm doing in, in, in prison. Yeah. Yeah. And it, it, it equalizes the relationship. And um, the best friendships are ones that, that are equally giving and taking. I want to be yeah. giving and um, I want to be... But if it's always one way, then then the relationship is much weaker. If it's I'm giving to you when you're in your when you're in need and you're giving to me when I'm in need, then that strengthens the relationship so much more. And I see him doing that here. Yeah. And I think that is so cool to see him, you know, building that relationship and also be you know, continuing that, you know, we were yeah. just talking about, you know, being in prayer and everything and, you know, absolutely, you know, hold on, devote yourselves to prayer. But in that, you also have to, you can't just ignore everyone around you right. and devote yourself to prayer. You have to connect and share your relationship with right. those around you. Right. And let me... Th- Tie in the, the the names that I know and recognize in, in, in this passage because the, there are some that, that are mentioned in in, in other places. Please um, do. It says, I think this is the only mention of Tychus, uh, but he's he was somebody from that region, and he he he's, he describes him as one of you. So uh-huh. uh, he he is from that that area. Um, he says, I'm sending Onesimus. Onesimus is is not somebody you hear a lot of in the Bible, but uh, he is a prominent person in the book of Philemon. He is he was a slave that was that had run away and uh, from Philemon. And Paul writes to Philemon saying, "Your slave is now a new creation." And this is and he's talking about Onesimus as being this new creation, and he's sending. Okay. Um, uh, Onesimus back to Colossians saying, this is your hometown. Go back there and, and I want you to minister to, to, to your people. Um, so it's kind okay. of a cool connection. Uh, if you get a chance to read the little book of Philemon, you'll, you'll, you'll see some more about Onesimus. Mm. Um, okay. and of course, Timothy, we, we hear a lot about, uh, and Luke, um, Luke, Wrote the uh, one of the gospels as well as the the Acts of the apostles. So he he's uh, uh, says here that he's a, the the great physician. Um, so he was a doctor that that did a lot of traveling with uh, um, Paul, and um, 
Okay. Barnabas is another one. Oh, and the, another one I wanted to talk about, mention again, is Epaphras, because Epaphras is the main pastor, I guess you would say. He's the one that went from um, Ephesus, where Paul had been a, a, a missionary, Um so uh, Epaphras heard Paul in in Ephesus and then went to Colossians and, and started a church there. And that's that's who that's the start of this whole book here is the connection between Paul and Epaphras okay. who started this other church. OK, so they're pretty cool connections there. Yeah, that is super cool. All right. Let me jump into verse 16. Mm -hmm. When this letter is read among you, have it also read in the church of the Laocidians. And you, for your part, read my letter that is coming from Laocidia. Say to Archippus, take heed to the ministry which you have received in the Lord, that you may fulfill it. I, Paul, write this greeting with my own hand. Remember my imprisonment. Grace be with you. I I really like verse 17 because it's, you know, not only, you know, talking about to, hey, can you pass this letter on to, you know, the people around you in verse 16, but it's that kind of like that when you're writing a letter, it's that, that PS, mm -hmm. hey, do this for so-and-so, you know, PS, you know, say hi to so-and-so or, you know. I really like how he has that personal touch and you realize that, Hey, this is a letter. Yeah. He, yeah. Yeah. I, a lot of times we wonder, we re, were reading the books uh, of the Bible and we were so blessed by them, but they were written to a people for a purpose. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, I, and he says, I, share it to the, to the people that, that, that you're with. And then when when they've all heard it, take it to the next place and <laughs> share it there too. And and that's how that's how the gospel was was shared at the very beginning before we had the paper and ink here. Yeah. It was shared by I wrote a letter and it, it was shared from church body to church body to church body. I now with the internet and podcasts, man, things can go like that. But it didn't go so fast back then. It was shared. <laughs> Person, person, and there, I, there's some beauty to that. That that yeah. the gospel is shared face to face, person to person, life to life, yeah. um, and that's uh, that. That is uh, a great message, and that's how how the gospel was spread. Just as he describes it here at, at the end of the, the this yeah. book. Yes, absolutely. So. Of this whole chapter, it is a shorter chapter, but we did, there is a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. What is the verse that stands out? Um, continue steadfastly in prayer, being one, that's verse two uh, of verse chapter four. Continue steadfastly in prayer, being watchful in it with thanksgiving. Um, yeah. Such a good reminder. Uh, being steadfast, and it is kind of interesting that it kind of ends with uh, Archippus. Uh, see that you fulfill. Stay steadfast in the ministry, uh, yeah. receiving as what was received by the Lord. Yeah, I, totally. I would say, of course, verse two, but also verse five. Mm -hmm. Conduct yourselves with wisdom towards outsiders, making the most of the opportunity. Yes, you know. Not only just, you know, be wise in, you know, how you conduct yourself and, you know, the whole book is kind of talking about being wise on putting off old things and putting on Christ and looking at Christ and devoting yourself to Christ. But it's also be wise on how you be with others and connect right. with others. And so I really like Yes, I mean for the whole book as a whole, there's so much rich, uh, rich teachings in this book. Um, but I mean, the, the part that I love the most is the mysteries of Christ, Christ in you, our hope and glory. And I, I just go back to that yeah. over and over again. Um, that as a, a main theme of of what Colossians is 
telling us who Christ is and the and the mystery and the the, the miracle of Christ in us. Yes, that is so I true. As a summary of the whole book, it's like oh <laughs> yes, my goodness, there's yeah. so much good stuff. It it absolutely is. Whew. All right, so. You ready for a random question? I'm ready for a random question. As All ready right. as randomly as I can. What is one gadget you'd like to own? One gadget? Gadget. Yes. Oh, there are so many tools that I, I, I am tool poor, I feel, and I could always use more mostly like woodworking tools I, okay. and so yeah I'll I pick a gadget pick, pick a, a woodworking tool and I probably need it <laughs> <laughs> and and would appreciate another one if I have <laughs> all right all right woodworking woodworking tools yes I, uh, if you have to leave your house in a rush for a year what three things would you make sure you took? Oh, there's a random question. <laughs> you have to leave your house for a year. What three in things? A rush. Three things. Ooh, I mean, does it not count like things that I have on my person? Well, I assume we can have some clothes on. Uh, okay. You're going to grab some other things. <laughs> okay, okay. Um, <laughs> I mean, I, oof, like, I guess that. Th First three things that come to mind are my phone, my wallet, and my keys, my okay. car keys, because okay. I need to get to work. I need to be able to buy stuff, and my phone is to let people know that I'm doing okay. <laughs> but you're not at home. <laughs> but I'm not at home. Okay. So I don't know how far I would get, but I think that's – Yeah, yeah. That's what I would grab. Okay. Sounds good. All righty. Thank you guys so much for joining us through Colossians. Mm -hmm. Please, you know, like, share, comment, tell us what you think about this book overall. Tell us what verse or theme stood out to you guys yes. in this book. And can I have you send us off with the blessing? All right. Let me go to where we began. Um, Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ uh, by the will of God, and Timothy, our brother, uh, to the saints and faithful brethren uh, in Christ who are in Colossus, Colossians, Colossus. Uh, grace to you and peace from God and our Father, the Lord Jesus Christ. And we send you off with that grace and that peace that God, that, that, that Paul started with, we end with. Uh, go in grace and peace. All righty. Thank you. Thank you.